Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our Revit tutorial today, we will be sharing how to use design options, and as we go through the process, we will also share on how to add color scheme using room names. So we will be creating a basic plan, in three different configurations using the design options, that will help Revit beginners understand the simple steps of using this feature in Revit. But before we start, if you are new to our channel, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updated of our latest tutorial. Thank you. Let's start by selecting the design options icon at the bottom of your screen. Then we select new under option set. Then under the option set 1 is option 1, which is automatically set as the primary. Primary means it is visible when design option is set to main model. Next is we add two more options, option 2 and 3. And then we set first our design option to option 1. Then we will draw a floor and wall, and add color scheme on it just to highlight the differences between the three options. So, we have this layout as option 1. We draw in the walls. Then we add in the rooms by selecting the room icon. Let's turn on the room reference by going to the visibility graphics and under the model categories, look for room, expand the room and check reference. So you will notice that there is an X mark across the room. It makes it easier to select the room when reference is on. So select the reference and change the room name from the properties. We name it room 1, then room 2, and so on. Then after that, we select color scheme under properties also. So on this edit color scheme dialog box, change the categories to rooms, then under we choose schema 1. Then under color, let's use name. Then just select OK. Then you will see that the list of room names that we created on our layout will automatically appear, with auto-generated colors as well. But of course you can change the colors based on your preference. But for now we just leave it as is. Then let's hit OK. So this is how it would look like on your plan view when color scheme is applied. Then the next thing we will do is we copy the floor and the perimeter walls to our option 2 because that will be the common elements between our options. After selecting copy, we switch to option 2. Then we paste the floor and the walls that we copied using align to same place. Then let's draw our internal walls for our option 2 layout. For this option we do like a horizontal configuration. Then we also add in the rooms. Let's change the room names. Let's use also the names we have used on option 1.
Then we add the room tags to each room. Then we switch to option 3. Let's do the same also, we paste the floor and wall that we copied from option 1. For this option, we divide the room in a diagonal wall layout. Then we add the rooms again. And also use the same room names from options 1 and 2. Then on the visibility graphics, let's turn off the room reference. Just to make it look neat. Let's change it to main model. As I have mentioned earlier, since option 1 is set as the primary, it is the layout that will be the default on the main model. Ok now we test our design options by switching to the different options we have created. So you will see that it instantly changed from the different configuration based on the options. So to create a different plan view with the different option, we will go to our project browser and look for the level 1. Then, right click on the level 1, and choose duplicate view, then use duplicate with detailing. Then right click again on the copy, then select rename. So we call this as option 2. Then let's go to the visibility graphics, look for the design options tab, then we set it to option 2. Then OK. Then we duplicate again the plan view. Then we rename it as option 3. And again on the visibility graphics, we set it to option 3. So now we have the three options also set on three different plan view. So for example we want to place them side by side on the sheet, we create new sheet. Let's just use none first on the new sheet, then hit OK. Then next is drag the floor plan views to our empty sheet. This is how we add all our views to a sheet which we can share on a different tutorial. There, we have the three options in one sheet.
So now let's go to a 3D view and show you also how we can switch from the three options on the 3D view. So on our project browser, let's do the same process. Let's duplicate with detailing also the 3D view and rename them to option 1, 2, and 3. Then on visibility graphics, we also set the design options according to option 1, 2 and 3. Then once we have the 3D view all set, we can also drag them into our sheet and lay out the views according to your desire. Do take note that if the design option control bar is set to main model, you won't be able to update the wall or any elements that are part of the option. So the only way you can update any element on the design option is by setting it to the option that you need to update. Alright, that's all for now. Hope that you have learned something from this tutorial. Comment down below if you have a question about Revit or if you want to suggest a topic that you want us to do a tutorial. Thank you, and see you on our next tutorial.